Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ya Qi, fourth year PhD student at National University of Singapore. Today, I will present our work, Embedding Symbolic Temporal Knowledge into Deep Sequential Models. This work is done with my collaborator, Fan, and my supervisor, Harold. The problem we focus on is learning in sequences the end time series data. While sequence learning is critical in artificial intelligence and also robotics. For example, human post estimation, reinforcement learning, and human trust modeling during the interaction with robots. There are many other applications as well, for example, machine translation, video capturing, and also imitation learning. However, most of the advances are powered by deep learning, which are flexible and high performance. However, they require a lot of data, which limit its application, for example, in imitation learning. The expert demonstrations are expensive and difficult to produce. Well, in many scenarios, in addition to data, there are also some structured high-level information are also available. Imagine you want to teach your friends how to cook. So besides the demonstration, you may also tell them something. For example, you need to wash the lettuce before you fry the lettuce. However, it will still remain unclear about how to incorporate such high-level structural information into deep learning. So in this work, we propose Temporal Logic Embedded Automata Framework. T-Leaf, which incorporates symbolic temporal knowledge into deep sequential models by using embedding, which will then guide the training of deep learning. Here is an overview of our framework. So basically, there are three steps. So firstly, we get our temporal logic. Then we convert them into embeddings. So finally, we use the embedding to guide the training of our, our target deep learning networks. The symbolic temporal logic we use here is linear temporal logic, LTL, which is well-defined and unambiguous compared to natural language. Therefore, there are a lot of other previous works that use LTL to enhance robotics. However, they mainly focus on either planning or using as a logical checker. In planning, they usually use LTL to augment the environment MDP which require additional information about the environment MDP, and also they can only handle hard constraints. In the same case in logical checker, because they produce binary losses and also non-differentiable. So our work is the first one to study the graph-based embedding of LTL. This enables a soft satisfiability, which can potentially generalize knowledge and also be more robust to meet specification. Next, let's look at our framework step by step. The first step is to get our temporal logic. The LTL we use here is able to express temporal constraints over state trajectories. Then LTLF is LTL interpreted over finite traces. So for every LTLF formula, we can convert it into a deterministic finite state automation, DFA, which is a directed graph with an initial state, intermediate state, and acceptance states. The reason that we want to convert LTLF to DFA is that one constraint could be expressed in many different ways in LTLF. Therefore, it's very difficult for the new networks to learn the relevant semantics. However, this is much better in DFA, which will be shown later in our synthetic experiments. The second step is to embed the relevant DFA. In DFA, each edge itself is actually a formula, so we use a hierarchical graph embedder, which consists of an edge embedder and a meta embedder to convert DFA to a vector in embedding space. So the training objective is to make the embedding of the DFA, which is the formula, to be closer to the satisfying sequences and to be further away from the unsatisfying sequences. This is implemented by a triplet loss. Our insight is that the DFA graph is more amenable to learning. This is supported by our synthetic experiments results. The DFA graph results in higher accuracy and also more structured embedding space, as shown by the figure on the right. More specifically, the task is model checking, which means given the embedding of the formula and the trace, we want to determine whether the trace satisfies the formula or not. Then we generate datasets with different complexity, low, moderate, and high. As we can see, the DFA graph results in higher accuracy, which supports our hypothesis. Then the final step is to train the target model. The logic loss is the embedding distance between the temporal logic and the predicted output. 
then you simply add this logical loss into any of your target model. Next, let's look at our experiments. The first one is sequential human action recognition. So the input is a segmented video and the output is a sequence of activities. One activity consists of one action and one object. The data set we use is cooking instruction videos. There are two types of temporal knowledge. The first one is affordance constraint. For example, certain actions can only be applied to certain objects. For example, you cannot cut milk. The second one is ordering constraints. Certain actions must be performed before others. For example, you need to wash the vegetables before cook them. Both of them are just common sense knowledge shared by most of the human beings when we make a prediction. The result is on the right. As we can see, our T-leaf is able to all perform the baseline logic checker across different models. The second application is imitation learning for creative cooking. The data set we use is a set of expert recipes. So the task is to use imitation learning to learn a policy to design recipes from randomly initialized ingredients. The graph on the left shows the temporal dependency constraint. Here the states are the available ingredients and their respective status. There are six possible status. Raw, pre-processed, heated, seasoned, cooked, and post-processed. At each time step, the agent needs to choose one action and one ingredient to apply the action on. Then the status of the ingredient will change according to the action. The reward is given according to whether the agent obeys this dependency constraint and also the affordance constraint. Then the recipe is completed if all the ingredients achieve their required status. The immediate learning algorithm we use is Gale, as shown by the learning curve on the right. Gale with our tea leaf converges faster than both Gale alone and Gale with logic checker. In summary, we propose tea leaf that converts symbolic temporal logic into a DFA graph. Then a hierarchical graph embedder will map it into embedding, which will then guide the training of target deep sequential models. We have shown that our TLIF is able to improve deep models in both sequential human action recognition and imitation learning. It could also be potentially applied to other domains where utilizing prior knowledge could be beneficial, for example, medical and human collaborative robotics. Okay, thank you. Do check out our paper and feel free to contact us.